What's going on guys? Welcome back to another e-scouting video. Today we are going to be talking about how to e-scout for mule deer. I'd say out west uh, getting a general season tag for mule deer is probably one of the easiest tags you can pick up. In many states they are over the counter. In some states like Utah you actually have to apply for them but there's a really really good chance to draw them out. So it's probably your best chance to hunt mule deer is to hunt one of the western states and uh, get a tag but from there it's like where do you start so today i'm going to share with you guys some of the tools i like to use with the onyx hunt map to uh, e-scout for mule deer some of the features and tools they have that you can use to get yourself set up and ready to find a place to start hunting mule deer so i'm going to go ahead and just pick a random spot on the map right here um, and start with no layers added so with this picture alone um, you've got a couple options on your screen using the mouse down to the bottom right you can use um, hybrid topo and satellite versions so you can see once you switch it to topo and uh, you zoom in closer you're going to get all the topography lines showing you elevations and things like that now there's a lot of different areas to hunt mule deer so i'm specifically going to be targeting like mountain mule deer in today's video um, so right here you can see there's a lot of topography in this little area and I'm going to show you guys what I would look for if I was to hunt you know this specific area right here. Also just keep in mind that I'm using the desktop version which when you sign up for Onyx map if you haven't already um, everything that you do and the waypoints and the things that you make or create on the desktop version will go right to your cell phone as well and you can use it on the mobile app. So to start just for bigger screen and easier to use we're going to start on the desktop so the first thing you're going to want to look at is boundaries um, so what you're going to do is just scroll up here to the map layers and you're going to use this little plus button on the state that you've decided so we're going to go ahead and turn on the private lands layer and also the government lands now government lands is going to bring up a lot of green and that is your national forest so let's start there. Um, right now we can see in this specific area, there is a ton of public land. So typically where I choose to hunt, I like to hunt the large, large areas of public similar to this exactly. So this is a great place for us to kind of do the what if scenario and what would I do and what would I look for? So first thing is you want to find access. You know, I, I really do like to get away from people. It seems if you can get about heck sometimes a mile to two miles off a road or a main trail you're going to find that you can actually get out there and find a ton of public land to hunt and you're going to have a lot of options and a lot of ridges that you can glass and, and hunt basically um, so the next layer i like to use is your trails and things like that so if you just scroll down to here uh, it's actually under trails and recreation so just hit the plus sign there uh, if you want the recreational sites, maybe you're looking for somewhere to camp, you can turn those on. But we're definitely going to start with trails and this one at the very bottom. This is also another important one to me. It's called the Motor Vehicle Roads and Trails. So let's turn that on as well. It looks like I missed trails, so we're going to turn that on as well. So you can see right there, a lot changed just from adding those few layers. So now we got major roads. Um, motorcycle or UTV trails are listed and also hiking trails and if you're ever in question on what a specific trail might be um, if you're on the desktop version just use the mouse if you're on the mobile app you're going to use your finger but like for this example right here you got this trail you're not sure exactly what it is just click on it and it'll actually bring up information for you so this one specifically is bike horse and hiking only now, I like to find trails like that where I can um, use it on foot and get away from the bigger crowds because you can see this trail right below it is in purple. And if you highlight that, it's going to pull up that this is a motor vehicle trail. And it's seasonal and it's got all the information right here. So right here under symbol, it shows trails are open to motorcycles. This one is seasonal. Guys, keep in mind some motorcycle trails uh, in the western states do have season dates where they open and close so keep in mind that you uh you know follow all the rules and things like that um, so if we go from there we're going to try to find some high peaks and long ridges i really like to focus on where i believe the mule deer are going to be out feeding 
in, at first light and last light. And those are typically your more open areas. Sometimes um, the, the hunts that we hunt out here general season are typically in the end of October. So bucks are moving, deer are out, and definitely getting ready for the rut. So try to find those open areas that you can just glass and then you really need to locate some of the high peaks that you can start to glass from. Uh, so for example, let's go back to that motorcycle trail that I really like. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and then I'm going to go down to the bottom right of the screen and hit topo. That way I can see all the topography of this specific area and it might give me an idea of where I can hike to the top to to see a ton of ground. Um, and right off the trail you can see there's some high peaks like this one and it's got the uh, elevation there for you so uh, they're coming out of the high country and they're starting to migrate to their rutting zones. Uh, and then if you scroll up on this map We've got a couple high peaks here uh, that you know you'd be able to get up high and you'd be able to glass across some of these canyons. Um, in this is instance, it'd be to the east. So let's go back to satellite mode. And you can see just to the east, there's some big wide open faces. And I guarantee if you perched up on some of these knobs right here, you would, able, you would be able to see a lot of country um, just by going on that one ridge and getting on each high point. So again, this one right off the, the east side of this trail, um, I wanna drop a waypoint. And all you have to do is go up to here to the top and click add waypoint. Uh, makes it super convenient. Obviously it's gonna land right in the middle of the screen, but if you need to move it, go ahead and move it to where you want it. And um, over here on the left, you can actually use these different icons to organize all your different waypoints. So for this one specifically, Something like something that I would probably do is put this as a glassing area. Um, and then I'd probably use all my glassing waypoints in a specific colorway. For example, this time we're just going to change it to blue. We're going to add some notes. You know, right here you can just put potential glassing spot. So make sure you hit the save button. It's going to save that waypoint right there. And from there you're going to just start picking it apart once again. So, okay, now that we've got a couple glassing points established, um, one of the tools I like to use on the desktop and also actually a lot in the field. Uh, there was a time last year during my deer hunt where I was camped up on this big perch. I could see 360 degrees around. I really camped there because the view, I could see mule deer almost every direction, both morning and night. But once I finally located a buck, that I wanted to shoot. I, I had no clue what the best approach was going to be. So I kind of ran a couple different scenarios while I was out there using the line distance tool to see like what ridge would get me within um, rifle range of this buck. And uh, it's the same tool you can use on the desktop version, e-scouting like so. So for example, you got this glassing point that you just dropped. It's always a good reference to know kind of what's within range and what's not. So all you do is click line, dis line distance at the top. We're just gonna start right here on this glassing knob and then you can see that it creates a line and shows you the distance. So if we were to glass a buck, maybe in some of this dark timber, uh, we would know that we would most likely be shooting anywhere from 400 yards at the bottom and then up to about 750 yards on the top. So again, you're going to use your optics and your range finder while you're out there, but during e-scouting, don't overlook the line distance tool. It's super helpful. All right, guys, we're going to jump to the mobile version to show you guys how to save maps for online use. Now, the most common question that people ask that are unfamiliar with the, the Onyx app is, will it work even when I'm out of cell phone service? And the answer is yes, but you have to download the offline version. So I'm gonna screen record on my phone and show you guys exactly step-by-step step how to do this. So on my screen right now, you can see the two waypoints I dropped for my glassing uh, knobs. And what I'm gonna do here is click offline map down here at the bottom left. I'm gonna click save a new offline map and it's gonna give me a couple different options. You got the five mile wide radius, which is much more high definition or high resolution and more detail and all the way up to the 150 mile wide, which you can see that's uh, cover a huge amount of ground. It's just not gonna be as 
um, detailed when you zoom in. So typically, I like the 10 mile wide radius. So you can see if this is the map I was gonna save, I'd probably box it just like that. I've got uh, everything I need. So all you're gonna do is hit save map. You're gonna hit download and it's just gonna go ahead and start saving that map. The best, it's best to do this while you have a good Wi-Fi connection, but it can be done if you're just in good LTE or your phone has good internet service. All right, so you can see this green box around the area that I dropped those two waypoints um, is now saved. So even when I'm in the mountains out of cell phone service, the phone can even be on airplane mode, which I typically do to save battery. You can still see all the layers and just, just like on the desktop version, all you do is hit map layers. And what we can do is turn on any type of layer you wanna use. And the roadless area is also a fun one to use. It'll actually be more purple in areas with less roads. And a lot of people find hard to get to places from there. Um, but just like the desktop version, you have access to all your layers. You can remove the trails, you can add wilderness. Um, you can go back down here to the trails and recreation tab. Uh, if you want to turn off the recreational sites, the trails, or even the trail mileages, which I keep on, or heck, if you want to turn off the roads, everything. So you can see that you can toggle between desktop and the phone app uh, so simply. And guys, if you are going to be out of service, I highly, highly recommend the offline maps. Probably one of the greatest tools on the phone version is offline maps. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, Onyx provides a ton of tools and mapping and boundaries that you can use e-scouting so you can start to pick out where you want to hunt mule deer now if you guys are interested in the in the app and you don't have it already you can always use the hush discount code for 20 percent off so if you guys ever forget about the discount code or you're not sure exactly what it was or where to go if you go to the description box on any of our youtube videos and you expand the description box right here just by clicking show more scroll down you can see right here the onyx Discount code is good for 20% off all Hunt app memberships uh, with our code. And if you need a link to just hit this Google short code and it will take you to the Onyx map website where you guys can download and become a member of Onyx Hunt. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys get a chance to come hunt mule deer if some of you guys never have before. So make sure you get a little knowledge before you guys head out there. Hope you guys tag a big buck this year. We're getting ready to hunt. Our hunt actually starts in two days here in Utah for high country mule deer. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next video.